Welcome to video number 5 on the Dirigas DR5000 DCC command station of which in August 2018 a new software version 1.5 was released so it looked like a good moment to make a video on how to update the software and the firmware well, the user manual uh, suggests that it is a good thing to first remove your current installation. So, just to make sure we don't get any troubles, let's do that. Uh, we can do that by, in case the app is open, first uh, close the app over here. Then move to the bottom left to right click our Windows button which opens up this list and at the very top we find apps and features which we can left click which gives us this new window. Uh, the app window where we can type for instance DR in the search field to quickly find our DR5000 app which we click which gives us this uninstall button which we also click and then fully automatically the program will be uninstalled once that is done well we obviously will have to find the new uh, software we go to the Dirigais website and on there we go to the DR5000 product page and there things have changed a little bit uh, previously the download links were right here on the product page but now we first have to click this support tab over here uh, when we do that uh, we again have to click a support button and uh, that brings us to this page where we can uh, type in dr5000 here in the search field which gives us a list of all the downloadable items and in there we find the new software firmware 1.5 when we click that then uh, this window opens where we can finally hit this download button to get it on our hard disk somewhere all right now we have to install the software and then yeah then we run it and and uh, update it update the firmware i mean so let's find that downloaded zip file on our uh, pc and then uh, we have to unzip it and most of the time that can be done by right clicking and then select in that menu extract or uitpakken or unzip or however it is called um, and that will uh, give you this uh, list of programs and a folder and in that list there you have this setup file that's the one we are going to run and when we do that the installation is fully automatic uh, somewhere you can uh, change the folder in which it will install so if you like the, to change the default location to something that uh, is your preference you can do that and uh, everything should go fully automatic and you end up finally with this DR5000 icon on your desktop which we click to start the program uh, maybe it comes with this uh, firewall warning and it asks you to allow access uh, which I did because yeah I'm going to use the network and Wi-Fi feature so let's do that and then the next thing is that we are over here the well-known user interface and at the top right there is this USB button which we click and that gives us this window where it has automatically detected already that the firmware in my module is 147 and the software on my laptop is 150 so automatically it, it tells me that uh, there is an update available and uh, I can now simply click this button and the update will uh, automatically start well after I told it that yes I'm really sure 
so it will uh, run automatically and hopefully all goes well and you will end up with 1.5 also now in your DR5000 module. Well, maybe uh, sometimes things do not go this well and a problem occurs. Then luckily in the user manual there's a chapter 3.8 that gives you a step-by-step -step instruction what to do in case something went wrong uh, and even if that does not help you out there is an other chapter 3.81 which has another step-by-step -step list of things to do uh, that may recover your module and there's also a video about it. Well, let's hope this is never necessary, but in case something goes wrong, the manual tells you exactly what to do. Uh, well, I hope it worked out uh, perfectly well for you as well as it did for me, and maybe see you back in a future video. Bye-bye.